Hello everyone and welcome to Easy Wi-Fi channel. I'm Kevin Yansley and today I want to complete wireless LAN controller 9800 device authentication by using ICE TAGX. In part 1, the ICE setting was completed. Wireless LAN controller was added to ICE, two different users with two different levels of access created and finally a new policy was added. In part 2, we are going for wireless LAN controller setting. First, ICE will be added as a TAGX server, TAGX group create, method list will be added, and finally test and troubleshooting. To whom are interested in CLI, required CLIs will be present at the end. Both ICE and wireless LAN controller are put in the same subnet. Let us start with wireless LAN controller configuration. We are going in the left menu, we choose configuration, then going down, security, and AAA. We want to add the ICE as a TAGX server, so we click on TAGX, then add, and we put name, ICE add IP address and shared secret key and leave port 49 as default. Update and apply to device. Good. Here is note. In lab only one ICE works, but in the real environment mostly two ICE active and standby are working and we have to add both of them here. Then we need to add a server group, moving to the server group, click on add, we put name and we add our ICE server to this group. Done. Okay. Next, we are going to the method list. We create the first method list for authentication. Click on add. Method list name, default is good. Type, login, group type, group or local, group. And fall back to local, yes. And now we add this new group to this method list. Moving to authorization, add, method list name, default, leave it, exec, group, fallback, authenticated, and our tagx group server. Apply to device. The last. AAA advance, moving down to the AAA interface, choose HTTP, authentication, default, authorization, default, that's it. We are done with the wireless line controller setting, very easy. To test the setting, firstly let me to save the configuration. Then log out. I put one of our pre created users, lab operator, password Cisco one two three four. Cisco one two three four. If you remember from the first part, the operator just have a monitoring access. 
so we can check in the left side we just we have a monitoring log out and check with we have admin Yes, full access, configuration, administration, and all other features. Let me try the SSH connection. I check with lab admin. Try it for another user. Lab of operator Cisco one two three four. Good. Config terminal. No access. Okay, setting well done. Not please let me check the logs. Going to the eyes, operation, tag axe, live logs, and here. Check the lab operator. Lots of very, very useful information, mostly when you are looking to do any troubleshooting. Very, very helpful. Authorization, pass. Privilege level 5. And lots of very, very useful information. For admin. Authorization, pass. Username, lab admin, shell profile, lab read write profile, privilege 50. Also, we can check you know, all signal pass between the controller and onto also ice. Excellent, and CLI command. Uh, you can see the COIs. Let me make it a little bigger. Okay. At first, triple A new model for sure. Then we add tagx ice as a tagx server. We get, we create tagx group method list, and the last we active the login with HTTP access. Thank you for watching and please subscribe Wi-Fi Easy Wi-Fi channel if you are interested for coming videos.